What is up, Bruins fans? Today I'm bringing you a clip from episode 371 of the Black and Gold Hockey Podcast. For else, Sam Smith and Mark Allred, joined by special guest Amon McLean, discuss their thoughts and reactions to Matthew Potra getting sent down to Providence. Maybe some other reasons why the Bruins have not been playing well recently. They send Matt Potra down to Providence. Which genuinely surprised me. Not going to lie, didn't see that one coming. Um... They then bring up Patrick Brown from Providence. Plays Thursday. Gets sent down. Osterley got brought up in the Lindholm, which we already talked about. And then they bring up Merkulov and stuff for today's game. And I think Merkulov will be the one that will be sticking around out of those two over Tufty. Tufty had a decent game, but I think he's going to be getting sent back down. Um, In my personal opinion. So... Uh, Elon, I'll start with you. What are your thoughts on all these recent call-ups? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like um, Tyler Johns has had a bit of a family matter he had to attend to. So, I mean, I wish him all the best. Hope everything's all right there. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, Potter going to the AHL, I think, like, I think – in a vacuum, it's good. Like, I think there's definitely benefits that play in the top six in Providence. But at the same time, like, I think he is one of the Bruins' best nine forwards right now. And I think they do need him at the NHL level. So, like, on one hand, I think it'll be good for his development long term. But at the same time, like, the Bruins are also trying to win. And I think he helps them win. So, I'm not really sure how I feel about it, honestly. Um Brown coming up, it sounds like it was sort of just like a spur of the moment thing. They just needed someone to like fill in, and that makes sense because he's you know more of a veteran. Um, Merkelhoff and Tufty, I'm not sure either are going to really stick around because Beecher got scratched, so he'd probably come in for Kaslik uh, or um, or Tufty. Oh wait, hold on, never mind. Actually, wait, that makes no sense. Um, I think Merkelhoff will stay. Um, I think Merkelhoff will stay for a little bit because he. I thought he played all right today. Um, Tufty will probably be out for Beecher or um, Johnson when he, assuming he comes back. Because I think they said he's going to be at practice tomorrow. So I assume he'll probably play Monday. Um, but yeah, overall, like, I'm not really sure how I feel as a whole about all these moves. But I mean, most of them make sense, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, Mark, what are your thoughts on all these call ups and send downs to Providence? Uh, gives all uh, players an opportunity. Uh, with Tyler Johnson being out, um, you know, Riley Tufty has been playing really good, uh, inspiring hockey. Uh, and a lot of Providence Bruins players, like I, I posted earlier on the X, um, you know, should take note of how Tufty went down. No sulking, went right to work after he cleared waivers to pro- and reported to Providence. Um, it really showed Ryan Wiginell and his coaching staff that he's there to, to get things done. And that's to get back to the NHL because – you know, players like him don't want to stay in the American Hockey League for long. And it, and he proved that, you know, he was the next guy up. Uh, Mikulov, again, uh, just point producing and playing really well um, lately. I've noticed the, Jesus, I don't know, probably about 10 games when he's just been real noticeable to me lately, where in the beginning of the season, I don't, I really wasn't noticing him much at all. Um you know, I mean, he was still there producing and so on, but not consistently with the the all round game. Um, but I think that uh, he did okay today. Um, maybe he gets another shot on Monday. Who knows? But um, I like I like I did like what I saw in this game, opposed to what I saw in the first four NHL games last season. Yeah, hundred um, percent. You know, I thought. You know what? Here's what I th- here's what I thought Thursday. Oh, they brought up Patrick Brown. Okay, he's been doing pretty decent in Providence. Maybe he'll actually come out and have a good game. No, <laughs> he 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 did not have a good game Thursday. Um, from an individual standpoint, not because the team got crushed by five goals. From an individual standpoint, he didn't have a great game. I didn't notice him a ton. Um, I didn't see a lot out of him to make me believe he sh- he should stay up, which he didn't. Um kind of just did nothing nothing of note he had a, he like he had like a good slap shot in the second period that hit Ottinger square in the chest that's it 
That's all I remember out of his game. Um, Merkulov today did a couple of really good things. The assists, number one. Uh, good entries in the offensive zone. Good movement with the puck. I thought he was pretty good. Um, I, I, I really liked his forecheck. Yep, I really too. liked his forecheck today. Really, um, you know, took advantage of pushing the players, or the opposing players back and eating up some uh, some minutes and so on, or seconds. Um, but, you know, this, this it's still a work in progress with him, but there were some really positive moves. Like what you saw? Be sure to come back next week for episode 372 of the Black and Gold Hockey Podcast. For real, Sam Smith, Mark Garman, and David Collins will discuss the latest rumors and reactions around Boston Bruins. See you then.